Welcome to the Travel Guide of Romania. Romanians trace their ancestry back to the Romans and have a noticeable Latin character, warm, spontaneous, and appreciative of style. In Transylvania, in addition to ethnic Romanians, one and a half million Magyars and around the same number of Roma, gypsies, follow their own path, while dwindling numbers of Transylvanian Germans, Saxons, reside around the fortified towns and churches built by their ancestors. Along the coast, in the Delta and in the Benat, there's a rich mixture of Russians, Ukrainians, Serbs, Slovaks, Bulgars, Gypsies, Turks, and Tatars. As fascinating as the urban centers are, such as the capital, Bucharest, Brasa, Sidesora, Timisora, and, most enchantingly, Sibio, Romania's true charm lies in the remoter regions. Any exploration of rural villages will be rewarding, with sites as diverse as the log houses in Oltenia, delta villages built of reeds, and the magnificent wooden churches, with their skyscraping Gothic steeples, of Miramirs, not to mention the country's more traditional churches, which reflect a history of competing communities and faiths. Not only is Bucharest Romania's capital, but it's also the largest city in the country and studies have suggested it's going to become Europe's richest city by 2050. Situated on the Dambavita River, Bucharest is a scenic city that offers plenty to tourists. Some of the most popular places to visit in Bucharest include exploring the city's old town, the National Museum of Romanian History, and the Romanian Athenaeum, which is the city's most prestigious concert hall. Before World War II, the capital's nickname was Paris of the East due to its similar architecture and Art Nouveau palaces. If you want to get a feel of this part of the city, then head to the Arc de Triomphe, the beautiful gardens or the quaint streets lined with restaurants. The Palace of Parliament is also found within the city center and is the world's largest parliament building. The building consists of over 1,000 rooms and guided tours are available. If you are planning to visit Bucharest, you won't be disappointed. It's one of the best places to visit in Romania and should be at the top of your itinerary. Brand Castle is a landmark and national monument in Transylvania and is known as Dracula's Castle. The castle is often linked with Bram Stoker's Count Dracula, although the author never actually visited Transylvania. However, he depicts the scenes in his book so well that you would never realize. The surrounding villages believe in the existence of evil spirits, ghosts, or strigoi, and until half a century ago, thought these individuals were living among them. A strigoi is someone that leads a normal life in the day, until their souls leave their bodies at night and they come out to hunt their prey. Today, the castle is a museum that has been dedicated to displaying furniture and art pieces collected by Queen Maria, who was the castle's previous royal resident. Along with her exhibitions and her husband King Ferdinand's room, the castle also has exhibits about Romanian vampire lore, Vlad the Impeller and Bram Stoker. If you are heading out on a road trip in Romania, then driving the Transvagrasen Highway is a must. This is regarded as one of the best road trips in the world. The highway was built in the early 1970s as a strategic route to cross the Fagra Mountains if Romania were to be invaded by the USR. Transfagorosan Highway is over 150 kilometers in length, and its highest point is at 2,042 meters, so as you can imagine the views are spectacular. Thanks to its appearance on BBC's Top Gear, the highway has now become one of the most popular attractions in Romania. However, it's only fully open from June to October, as the road is dangerous during the winter conditions due to ice and snow. Although a spectacular road, this drive isn't for the faint-hearted. With large sections of road without barriers and sheer drop-offs of over 1,000 feet, this isn't a journey you want to do if you aren't a confident driver. Poneri Citadel, or Poneri Castle, is one of the most well-known places in Romania, as it was home to the famous Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impeller was an important prince of Wallachia and is recognized as a national hero of Romania. However, he was best known for his cruelty and wickedness when it came to punishing his enemies. Poneri is located high on a cliff edge near the Fagras Mountains and in its day was one of the most impenetrable fortresses in the country. In 1888, a landslide brought down part of the citadel, but otherwise, Poneri is quite well maintained and is one of the best places to visit in Romania. Rasnov is located in the Carpathian Mountains, within the region of Transylvania. It's thought to have been built in the Thracian Roman times, although it's most famous for its fortress. 
Rasna Fortress is found on a rocky hilltop 650 feet above the town and was built by the Saxons to protect the town from invaders. There is a legend attached to the fortress about two captured Turkish soldiers. As the citizens were concerned about the availability of drinking water, the soldiers were set to work digging a well. They were assured of their freedom if they were to complete the task, and according to local legends, it took them 17 years to finish. Brasso is often known as the gateway into Transylvania and is located about 166 kilometers, 103 miles, from the capital of Bucharest. It's one of the most visited cities in Romania, and that's due to its picturesque location, beautiful architecture, and relaxing atmosphere. Some of the most popular places to visit in Brasov include the Piata Svatilu, the Council Square, the Bizarica Negara, and Catherine's Tower. Make sure you also wander down Strada Republici, which is the city's lively main street. However, one of the most popular things to do is to take the cable car or hike up to Mount Tempa. The most famous hiking route up is the The Knights Road, which dates back to the days of the Citadel, making it the oldest route to the summit. Not only is there a Hollywood-like BRISOV sign at the top, but Mount Tempa is also home to golden eagles, gray wolves, brown bears, and Eurasian lynxes. Sayasora Citadel is the only inhabited medieval fortress in Southeast Europe and is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the historic center of Sayasora. It's one of only seven Saxon walled cities in Romania, which were all built at a similar time during the 12th century. There is a lot of history located within this spot, as the citadel has experienced many tragic moments throughout time. This includes the Mongol invasion, various fires, rebellions, witch trials, and executions. Today, however, Sayasora Citadel is a place full of charm, color, and beauty. Once you step through the gates and wander down the cobbled streets, you will be transported back in time. Salina Turda is the world's most spectacular underground formation that has been shaped by people. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Romania, and upon entering it isn't hard to see why. It's thought that salt was first extracted here during the Middle Ages from 1075 to the early 20th century. However, one of the most interesting facts about this place, it's estimated that salt from the Turda salt mine could cover the salt required for the entire planet for the next 60 years. After opening to the public in 1992, Salina Turda now attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors every year for a very unique reason. There is an underground fun fair located within the salt mine that has mini golf, ping pong tables, and a bowling alley. It's also possible to hire a boat to go round the underground lake, sit on a Ferris wheel, or visit the amphitheater. The city of Sibio dates back to the 12th century and is nicknamed the City of Eyes due to the roofs here, which look like they have multiple eyes. There looks to be a clear division in Sibio, and that is down to the Saxon history of the city. The Saxons made a division between the lower town and the upper town based on the citizens' class. The upper town would be for more affluent citizens and the elite, while the lower town would be for merchants and peasants. Connecting the two are a labyrinth of stairways, passages, and alleys. Some of the most popular attractions in Sibio include the ASDRI Museum of Traditional Folk Civilization, the Sibio Lutheran Cathedral, and the Catholica Basilica. Simply wandering around this magical city is a must. Allow yourself to get lost in its picturesque streets and narrow alleyways. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.